Hello everyone, today a first video to um, learn how to import GPX file into your GPS eTrex with uh, the use of the software Garmin Basecamp. So first of all you have to install Garmin Basecamp on your laptop. Uh, you can go through Google to search for the software. Uh, you can reach the website of Garmin. The software is uh, freeware so uh, no need to pay for it. And on the web page of uh, Garmin Basecamp, you can find the download links at the bottom of the page. So you can select your uh, system, whether you're working on Macintosh or uh, Windows here. The example is with a Mac. So you download the software and you install it on your laptop. Once the install is made, we can launch Basecamp through the launching uh, icon here. So the window uh, opens showing the maps that you have already installed or not on your uh, on your system. Uh, here the exa example is made with a, a free map. Basically the original map uh, provided by Garmin is just a general map of the world uh, only with the, the roads which is not very useful for uh, hiking or trekking. But we will see how to install uh, free maps in another video. So here we we'll just make the example with uh, a French map of uh, the headquarter area but it does not have an impact on the function that we are looking today which is the import of JPX. So you can see that nothing is connected to my software, there is no um, GPS connected. What we are going to do first is to create a list so that you can organize your JPX file. It's better to do so so that you can uh, organize your trips uh, depending on the area you are going to trekking to. So here the folder is named training for monitors in French and once the list is created you can go to file import into the list and we're gonna look for the GPX file that I sent through the, the last email so here I select my GPX file which is uh, test GPSD1 and I validate with import so the track appears on the bottom part of the software here on the left I just advise you to rename the file because most of them are called track, so it's not very uh, easy to uh, know what it is. I just give a name to it, which is almost the same than the original file. And if you double click on it, you can see the different points uh, that um, make the, the tracks. So the track appears here on the map. To have something more easy to read, you can double click on the file and get information. And here on the bottom part, you can select the color of the track. So in pink, it's better here for the example. Okay, so once it's done, the GPX file is in Basecamp. We're going to connect the eTrex. So here is the eTrex 20, but basically it's the same for all the eTrex. You connect the USB cable, whether the eTrex is uh, on or off, doesn't matter. Once connected, the eTrex will start automatically. So we're waiting for the GPS to uh, finalize the start. You will perhaps have uh, this question, which is that uh, do you want to activate the mass storage? It's better to select yes for our example. Once it's done, we have the confirmation that the USB is connected with the icon on the screen of the eTrex. Back to the laptop, you can see, so it can take several seconds or minutes, but the eTrex will appear on the upper part of the software on the left. You can see that nothing is on the eTrex. So I go to my folder, I select my GPX file, right click, and send to the device. You can see that the device here is the eTrex 20. We're going to click um, Routes and Tracks and select Send waiting for here the confirmation that the uh, import is done and you close the window. As we are connected in mass storage, it's important to eject uh, the eTrex from your laptop before disconnecting it. So we wait for the eTrex to disappear from Basecamp and then we can disconnect the USB cable. The eTrex will uh, power off, so we're gonna pour it on again to check that the GPX file is uh, well imported into the device. We wait a few seconds for the eTrex to start. 
we reach the main menu and with the joystick we're gonna select the menu which is uh, go to tracks and you can see that your file is there you can open the file we will see that we have the same pattern that the one we had on the laptop and you can select go to that's it